In this video, I'll be learning about the pros and cons of being a female photographer on social media, learning about her struggles and encapsulating it in a photo. So with that, I decided to call my friend Arfa. Anything for you and with you, like I'm so down. Arfa is an awesome filmmaker, photographer, creative in general. I actually met her a few years ago. We did a massive drone UFO photo shoot. We did this smoke bomb photo shoot together and we also did this photo shoot with dirt. <laughs> there is one thing that is unique about her that's different to me. And that is of course the fact that she is a female content creator. I've been curious for a while as to what it's like being a female photographer, filmmaker on social media, which is a male dominated field. And so I wanna get an insight of that from Arfa and be able to encapsulate that in a photo. My name is Hayden Pedersen and I am a storyteller. In this series, I want to tell stories through filmmaking and use photography to capture it. I've never done this before, so gotta go easy on me. <laughs> Arthur hasn't said this yet, but she's been working on presets for over probably six years now and she hasn't released them yet. So what do you feel lights you up professionally and personally? Oh, naturally I'm a very bubbly, positive person. I'd like to think I am. What lights me up most, I would say is my curiosity. That's been the thing that drives my entire journey. I naturally love documenting everything, my friends, the places I would go to. I always wanted content and I wanted to make it look good. My greatest inspiration is Zed. I saw how much he worked to put himself out there and that made me want to do that too. The other day I ended up putting up on my Instagram story, what do you think I should ask Arthur in the interview? People are like, who is, <laughs> who is Arthur? <laughs> Does she love you, kissy face? And I then, do. Um, and then I do love oh, stop Hayden. You. Ask her if she wants to be your girlfriend. <laughs> is she your fiend? I think they meant to say friend, <laughs> but is she your fiend? <laughs> All right, let's do this drone shot. I usually wish I was a drone. Why? Because <laughs> I mean, look at the views, you know? It would be so sick to be able to fly. I started without knowing that this is what I love to do. I was always known in my group of friends to document everything and I cared about making it look good. It wasn't just like me snapping photos or taking videos. I truly cared about making it high quality. Yay! We did it. We did it. Is the shot cool? I think so. The skydiving thing, this is just an example. I think that that's really cool how you're able to jump into the unknown. Do you feel like fear is like a motivator for you in some ways? Hmm. It's not that I was ever really afraid of skydiving. I know it how? is a fear. How? <laughs> we have to go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. we have to go. We have okay, to. well then at the end of this video, we can go skydiving. <laughs> If I were to describe my element, it would definitely be air. Because you're air, you like being in the sky. You're just air. You don't have organs, you're just air on the inside. <laughs> Arthur is into traveling. Obviously, like there's so much more to Arthur than me just like listing off all these things, but I'm just trying to think of like aspects of her that I am able to kind of encapsulate in a photo. I wanted to ask about the gender questions. Can you tell me what are the pros and the cons of being a female creative in social media? There's pros and cons to it all. Um, pros, you know, me being a girl in this space, makes me stand out a lot because it's a very male dominant career. Many would say like certain situations become easier because I'm a girl, but then there's also the flip side of it, you know, where I'm underestimated because I'm a girl or maybe when you picture, you know, a videographer, photographer, you don't really picture a girl that's 5'2 running around with a camera and that's okay. That's never really been an obstacle or, you know, a breaking point for me. If being a female, like the pros and the cons, like all of that doesn't really affect her, then I wonder what does. What are your struggles? Some of my struggles, they don't necessarily revolve around being a female. I think anyone can struggle in similar ways. For me, it's constantly wanting to make things perfect. I'm very 
precise with what I want. I know what you want. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Trust me. I need to zoom in to the exact millimeter and then zoom out. And everything needs to be cropped four by five. I'm kind of, I'm freaking out a little bit. I just... I'm actually so nervous about it because I've never really put anything out like this before. It's even scarier knowing that it's going to be on your YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for this. What do you think is most scary about releasing your own product? I don't know. What, what if it's not good enough? You know, I really want people to think that the edits are good. I care a lot about what I make and so far it's always just been me applying it on my content. Now I'm giving access to people to be able to freely use it, you know, on their own content. And that's a little intimidating. I want to get the richness of her story, but maybe not because I haven't really asked about her story. Ah, f uh. I tend to keep picking at it because I want to make it better and better. Whereas like, you know, accepting what the good product is and just putting it out. Like, I really struggle with that. It's not easy to sell your own thing. Like, you're vulnerable. Yeah, exactly. And you're right, I'm not I'm not sure if people are gonna buy it. Um, I don't even know what I'm gonna do to market it all the way, but I guess it starts with this video, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> this video is a massive marketing for Arvis presets. <laughs> That's good. That's good. No, it's good. I'm happy to help. Yeah, it, it's really cool that you care so much about me and you take interest not only in my work but you know in the things that I care about and my interests. Mm. What's the longest Ultimately, time you've spent on one photo before? Like 16 hours. 16 hours? Yeah. yeah honestly. To me I don't know if this is the same with you but I think the idea of letting go is like like what does that even mean? Like when someone says let go it's like oh like cheers all right i'll just do that and then like everything's all good but the thing is it's like no like how how do you let go i think you let go not in a sense of like not caring about what you're doing but detaching from the outcome but how do you do that that's the real question by being present I think that like, if you're stuck on a project, tell yourself, okay, I'm gonna upload this project today. So you're able to just force yourself to kind of move on. Then you're able to take the pressure off yourself of making something so perfect all the time. Maybe what I should encapsulate more is how she's grown and what she's learnt in her life through her struggles. The importance of letting go, AKA being present and like, I suppose like she's selling her presets. So maybe we could use one of her presets on the photo that I'm editing or something. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. This is the beginning of what could be endless. Taking this one step to just kind of let go of something and just like put it onto the next thing can be like the catalyst of like starting maybe other preset packs or maybe even starting a YouTube channel or something. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's sick. Only problem is there's cars literally everywhere. There's, how are we going to do this? All right, go in the middle, quick, quick, quick. We gotta get the composition right. Oh my God, this is stupid. Holy oh, literally. Fine. Cars are like gone. Oh my Okay, this is a bad idea. All right, all right, all right. That's a sick car. Jeez. Granny's gangster with it. <laughs> I I can't believe I'm, I'm actually doing this. Really? But I'm ready. We got an audience. So I want to let go of the balloons because that's kind of like signifying Arthur's like ability to let go. Are you ready? I'm ready. So we only have one shot with this because otherwise, once she's let it go, it's like it's gone. So. True. So we need to get this right. So no okay. pressure. No pressure. Ready? All right. Two. One, go! You've actually published it. How do you feel? Woo! How do you feel? I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> okay, they're not as cool as what I thought they were gonna be because the balloons actually went off in a different direction, but I have to let go of this because otherwise I'll be not practicing what I'm preaching. <laughs> I've just finished editing the photo. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of 
nervous to see what Arthur thinks of it. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks so cool. You did a whole sky replacement and you added balloons. Oh my god. I wanted to make it like a little bit more special, but I did use your presets, so that's good. I think it looks perfect. Obviously nothing is perfect, like, except for your press, no, I'm just kidding. Um, well, no, they thought I was funny. Um, imperfect and perfect at yeah. the same time. Letting go of the idea of, of perfection, having imperfection, which creates perfection. Does that exactly. make sense? Yes, Okay. absolutely. Awesome. All right, well, I think that we can wrap it up there. Yeah. From this experience, I've learned that while we do have specific struggles as different genders, we also share struggles as well. This, in my opinion, shows that we are more similar than what we sometimes think. If you want to check out Arthur's Lightroom presets, you can check them out in the description below. On this channel, I'm here to tell compelling stories. And the things that allow me to keep doing that are my presets and the Patreon. If you want to edit like me, check out my Lightroom presets. If you want to be a part of an exclusive creative community where you get access to benefits such as learning storytelling, hanging out with like-minded creatives as well as me and exclusive content, I would highly recommend checking out the Patreon. Link in the description. So yeah, this is a new series on my channel. I really enjoyed making this and um, yeah, here's to more, here's to more episodes. Maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again. I'll catch you next time.